What is going on guys, TSW Tech here and guys, I am back with another FRP video today guys, I'm be fixing a ZTE Ad, Advid Plus, so this is my, another one, another friend's phone that had the same problem that, he, that the other girl had in the last video, and guys, just to clear up that stuff from the Samsung Galaxy S7, I think, phone that I fixed with this problem, like at the last part, I didn't really, I forgot to edit it in because it got corrupted, so, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to click back, uh, like, a lot of times before, and then you, you should see, like, a setup wizard crash scene, and then you click OK, and then you should be in the home screen. I forgot to mention that in my video, I'm sorry. So, if you guys, all, and then all you guys that didn't, like, understand, like, I had, like, that phone didn't get upgraded at all, at all, so, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for 173 subscribers and 78,000 views. That is amazing. I started this channel, like, in 26, at the end of 2016, and we're here right now, so thank you guys so much for all that. And yeah, guys, so let's get started with this tutorial. So, first, you guys need to download the Quick Shortcut Maker on your computer. But sorry for this setup right now. I don't have a tripod or a, a good computer so I can screen record. So you have to download this short, quick shortcut maker right there, as you can see it. So I'm gonna try to focus on my laptop real quick. I'm um, sorry. Like yet again, guys, I am pretty new to pretty new to YouTube, so I'm sorry. My computer is not all good. So yeah. So what you wanna do after that? You wanna click the file manager, of course. You gonna go to your downloads where that where you download the file. Um, hold on. <laughs> okay, so let me f let me find it real quick. It's right here. So you, you you get this. You drag it to your desktop. If my computer would please let me do it. Okay. So you drag it to your desktop. And then you go to your 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 what's called your ZTE, your, ZTE, your sorry sorry guys your ZTE. You click internal storage. And then you just drag it right here. Where is it? Hold on. You just drag it right here. And then it should copy over. And then it should be in there. All right. So as so that so that was that. Hopefully y'all see y'all saw it. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm guys. I'm sorry because I hadn't had a lot of attempts because. People keep coming in and out of my room. Like YouTube is hard. We have like a lot of people in your house. Don't knock on your door or anything. So, the, other than that, let's get let's continue with this some um, tutorial. Dang, why is your camera shaky today? All right, so you click here. You hold this add button right there until you see this setting icon. You click that. You click Google keyboard settings. You click text corrections. You click personal dictionary. You click the English, of course. You click this plus sign. You just type in any random words. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> you click this, and then you 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 find Google Voice Typing. You click it. Um, hold on. You you go to text to speech output. Sorry, let me right there. All right, and then you click this settings right settings right there. And then you just click install voice data. And then click anything you want. It doesn't really matter. No, never mind. Sorry, guys. Don't don't do that. You click these three dots right here. Open source license. You highlight any word. You click this search button. Hopefully, I'm clear. I'm clear to you guys. Hopefully. All right. If I'm not clear, then comment down below, and I'll help you. I'll try to help you to to my best abilities. You click that. If you go down, you should see this app right here. You click it. Okay, settings blocked it. So you got un un tick this unsort. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. I had a long day. I'm sorry. You click unknown unknown sources. Whew. All right, let me slow down. Then you click this this APK right here. You install it. So it's basically just like the Samsung Galaxy S7. But it's like a different method because all phones don't do the same thing as the other one. Because this is a ZTE, the other one was a Samsung. So guys, there'll be an LG one soon. Just don't, don't worry about that, okay? Alright, so you, you type in Google, of course. Um, if it t f types in, please. Um, okay. Okay, no. Google Account Manager, you find it, you find this right here. 
You click it. And right, hold on. I gotta find it. Right here. Hold on. Nope. Right here. The first tech or oh, type email and password. You click it. You click try. You click you click that three dots side browser sign in. Sorry guys, I'm talking so fast. Hopefully I'm not talking too like too fast for you. All right, let me type in my email because I noticed in the last video I didn't block it at all, but I changed the password so y'all wouldn't get into my email. So yeah, let me sign into mine real quick because I'll have my friends on me right now. I gotta contact him to get his email so I can put it into his phone. So now you're signing in. Now you click create right here. You see that create button? You click create. All right, and it says thank you. Blah blah blah. You go back. Now you restart your phone. Now this should remove the FRP. So if you if this doesn't remove your FRP, then hopefully there'll be another video tomorrow. Showing you a new method, hopefully, if I find it. And guys, the video that I found this to that I found this method on will be in the link down in the description down below. Cause this guy and my other comments were telling me that I need to credit other people so I don't get uh, what's it called what, what's it called strike or I forgot the other one strike basically. So shout out to him. Like without him, I would have probably got strike by now. So yeah. I fixed my mistake. It's simple um beginner YouTube beginner mistakes. So you click these arrows. It's gonna check for your connection. Alright. It's taking way too long. Come on. Alright, so software update. And see guys, it says account added. This first this first account is ready for use. You can add or remove accounts later in settings. See? So it worked guys. So let me just get through this whole thing real quick. Um it says a new device. Click next. Skip. Skip anyways. Next. And there you guys go. If you guys like the video, hit that like and that subscribe button. Also, comment down below if you need help on this. Hopefully, I'll find a new method tomorrow. And until next time, guys, peace out. Thank you guys for 173 subscribers and 78,000 views. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.